Hi, Corey Nicolick here with First Tactical. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Tactics Half Day Backpack, a very full featured backpack giving you the absolute best in organization. One of the things you'll notice on this backpack is that it's all laser cut. Laser cut is a newer technology. We take our own approach to it. So an abrasion resistant fabric, a rip resistant interior, and then that binder really makes it 20% stronger and 20% lighter than the industry. So you can really do anything you need on your mission and make sure that those pouches are not gonna rip off. On the very front of the bag, we have two logos. And that was a decision made by you. So what we did was in the very beginning of this backpack, we showed concepts to end users and they liked the logo so much and the approach we took with having both logos on there, they just said, keep both logos. We wanna see them both on the backpack. The compression straps, always a great feature to keep that load close to your body. We took a little different approach. We made the compression straps removable. Those removable compression straps, now you can place them anywhere you need to on the backpack. Up high, down low, remove them and add to them to keep that bag close to your back without it sloshing around for any mission. To remove the compression straps, all you need to do is remove the T-bar. There's a small lock on the side. Like so. And that whole strap comes all the way up. So move them up, move them down, move them to wherever you need. Any location is great. In fact, send us pictures. We like to see where they end up. And if you want, this doesn't just need to be load compression. This can also be a jacket roll. Feel free to put this right in the front. It can also locate up on the top or down low. There's a couple straps. So on five locations of this backpack, the five sides, they can go anywhere you want. The Velcro platform on the front, a little oversized. We wanted to give you ample space to put all of your patches. So on the very front right here, three by six area, and then up on top, you have a two by six area. Two by six area, a little oversized, so not just name tapes, but it'll put a flag and an additional flag on the other side, and then down low, you can put two patches side by side. As you think about backpacks, you wanna make sure you have quality hardware. So we use all the best YKK zippers and Duraflex hardware all throughout the backpack to ensure long life. The YKK zippers, we reverse them. That's nice because when you're out in the mission, you're gonna have exterior elements on this backpack and we wanna keep down all that debris to a very minimum so that it's not getting trapped in those zipper teeth. So we move those to the inside, keeping that down. By also moving to the inside, it makes a little bit of an easier zip. On the exterior of the zippers, we also took off the rain cover so it makes it a little bit easier to zip. On that cover, on those curves of the backpack, those get stuck and in position and you can't easily manipulate that backpack. And so we took that, removed them on the mission, makes it much easier. In the realm of backpacks, there's two users. You have the neat freaks and you have the dumpers. We really were trying to cater more towards the neat freak sides, but not really offending the dumpers. So what we did was made macro organization. That brings that spectrum down a little bit smaller so you can get into it and all those necessities you need all throughout the day. Earbuds, power cords, power bricks, all those things you need multiple times, easy to get to in the very front before you get to the organization. So those two L-shaped zippers here, easy to get in and out of. And you can see there are three pockets here and three pockets here. So business cards fit really nicely up high and then you can use this entire compartment here um, specifically for a water bottle in case you need to. The organizer, you can get into it very easily. Make sure your compression straps are removed. And then very simply, by feeling the different zipper pulls, notice I have for less important zippers, less textured zipper pulls, and for more important compartments, I have the textured pulls. So without looking at it, I can tell you exactly what pocket I'm getting into. Cool little feature. Unzip. And get into this backpack, you can see it's a very full featured organizer. All light colors, so you can see all the components. And there's a nice lip on to each opening so that pins, flashlights, very easy to navigate over the top of that lip. The organizer itself, small, medium, and large pockets, including a zippered pocket for all those valuables. And we have a stationary key fob and a removable key fob. That removable key fob, a perfect organizer for your V2 tactical pants. If you do want to write your name on the inside to make sure that it is your backpack, we do have a small space right here on the front that you can write your name. Right behind the organizer, we have a concealed carry pocket. It allows you to keep any type of firearm zipped up. It's very deep. 
goes all the way down. Nice Velcro loop on the inside with a board behind it, so it will support that firearm appropriately, but also a great pocket for a tablet or for a, a small computer as well. Up on top, you have a small dump pocket, and everybody needs that dump pocket when you're putting in the sunscreen or the lip balm. That's the pocket it goes into. It's kind of a catch-all. Now we start moving to the main compartment on the backpack. Notice how I open that all the way up very easily. It's a 180 degree opening. In fact, we like to say it's a 190 degree opening because you can see everything on the inside. Those zippers traverse all the way down around the corner to allow that full opening, that 190 degree opening. On the inside of the backpack, you can see that it's light color and see all the components. On the top here, we have removable pockets. If you are in need, somebody goes down, pack this with your first aid kit, make this your IFAC, and toss that to whoever you need. This is all platform here, so I can either use it as a Velcro or as a loop, so I can put any of my favorite Molly pouches in there. Now, those Molly pouches, this allows you to put in a padded pouch or tourniquet pouches so you can make a nice line of whatever you need on the inside. And if you don't like those there, this is Velcro. This entire back is also Velcro. Put this there and we have a nice assortment of Velcro pouches on the inside as well. When you're considering a backpack, you wanna make sure that your backpack has two layers of fabric on the bottom. Anything with single layer is not quality. This gives you that double layer needed. And we also made it into a pocket so from the outside, we have a small zipper pocket. It's a great place to store a space blanket, a poncho, an extra set of gloves out of the way, adds a little bit of extra padding to the inside compartment, gives you that emergency equipment when you need it. Getting back to the inside, vertical zip pouches so that when this backpack is zipped up, you need to keep eyes on the mission. I can very easily navigate through my backpack the main zipper down and around and open this up from the side and navigate into the side of my bag without looking at it, knowing I'm getting into the correct pocket. On the main compartment, there are two additional pockets, a little extra storage to organize tall, so you can take your rain gear, roll it up, put it on the side, or a roll of 550 cord, keeps it nice, gives the bag a little bit more structure, so when you're getting in and out of it, it keeps everything organized. Up on the top, you will notice that there is a sunglass pocket, but it's not a hanging sunglass pocket. This is a hammock pocket. That hammock pocket, extremely important to keep that sunglass up underneath the handle without it falling down. Too many times you're gonna have a hanging pocket available in a lot of backpacks, but you have anything heavy there, crushes anything that's inside. So I like expensive eyewear. A lot of you guys out there really invest into protection for your eyes. You wanna make sure that eyewear is protected. So hammock style, fleece lined pocket located right underneath that top handle. The top handle itself, staple in the industry, two inch webbing with one inch webbing running through it. We added a little extra to it and put a tube on the inside. So it gives just a little extra support when you are carrying that from mission to mission and you're pulling that out of your vehicle. You can grab that without it collapsing your hand. Not only on the front of the backpack, but also on the side of the backpack, each and every platform opening is looked at and it has full size, so you're not cutting any corners. You're able to use that exterior pouch from the top all the way down to the bottom. We're not cutting any corners and giving you only two up on top and migrating down to three down low. So full use on both sides and on the front. With the Tactics backpack, this is a two compartment backpack. That means you have a main compartment here, and this is four and a half inches deep, and then you have a one inch pocket in the very back that is one inch deep that runs from top to bottom. This is very nice to put in additional items that you need to get to quickly. This is called our hook and hang through pocket. You'll notice that there's two hooks here and there's also a zipper in the bottom so you can go all the way through depending on what kind of kit you're carrying. In the very front, there's two organizer pockets. Those two organizer pockets allow you to get kit and hold it tall. So think about this, computers, very nicely going back with a computer sleeve and then all the cords and the mice that need to go with it, all of that goes right inside in that back compartment. So with one stop with that zipper up on top, pull that all the way out. If you are using that bottom zipper, please note that there is a lock there. Your backpack comes standard with that so that it keeps that zipper up in place. All of our zippers open up very easily and we would hate to see anything fall all the way through and migrate through. 
I've made that mistake before. We don't want you to make the same mistake. So if you do have something in there, make sure that lock is engaged. Notice on the side of the backpacks, we have two additional handles, one on each side. This makes it really nice. If you're traveling, you're throwing it in and out of your vehicle, you can grab it not only on the top, but you can also grab it on the sides and be able to carry this out. And with all of our accessories, there may be some time where you need to carry this east-west style, not north-south style. So these side handles do come in handy. Note that the side handles also snap back flat, so it's not an additional catch point like a lot of other backpacks that have handles on the side. As we move to the back of the bag, this backpack shoulder strap system adjusts up and down and in and out. So there's two triglides up at the top. These are very nice. You wanna be able to adjust that in and out. And you also want to adjust it up and down depending on the height of the individual. So there's two triglides down inside. Make sure you loop them back on themselves so you don't slip, but that allows you a good six to eight inches of adjustment to get that shoulder strap system exactly where you need to. You wanna make sure that backpack is located on the lower part of your back so when you're using it with the curve of that backboard, you can take that backboard all the way out, adjust it to the shape of your back so that it's always in location with the way you need it to be. The shoulder straps themselves are dual density, two layers of foam up on top, one layer of foam down low where you don't need it. More platform on the shoulder straps in case you wanna carry some small kit that you need to get to on a longer journey. You can keep that right here and also a little bit of Velcro so in case you do want to throw your favorite patch on there, you have a great location to do so. The aerospacer mesh is dual sided, both mesh and mesh. That means in any sandy environment, that sand can go all the way through and then come back out. Many aerospacer meshes, you're not going to be able to do that. It gets trapped in there and causes it to disintegrate much earlier than the life of your backpack. So we felt it very strong to give you a great aerospacer mesh. Make sure on your backpacks, it uses a closed cell foam. If you feel a foam that seems very squishy, that's nice, but that means it's open cell. Open cell foam means that it's going to absorb water and absorb perspiration. If it absorbs perspiration, it's gonna absorb also that bacteria, making your shoulder straps stink over time. And the open cell foam breaks down much quicker. I've seen a lot of these backpacks. This backpack is now seven years old. And I've seen this backpack seven years old from the very first production, still kicking it. The sternum strap adjusts up and down. And on the fly, it's very important to do so. It's nice to be able to adjust that and move those pressure points around. And if you don't like a sternum strap, go ahead and pull the sternum strap all the way off. It's made to do so. A lot of these in the industry, when this comes off, it never goes back on. So we made it scallop to the top slide that right back into place. Notice down low on the shoulder strap, we attached it a little bit differently. A lot of people put pockets there. What we did is we put a strap over the top and left the top open. We did that on purpose. We've seen many backpacks come back and that's the Achilles heel of the backpack. When that buckle breaks, it's very difficult to get it back on. But if you're downrange, you're on a mission, you really need to have this backpack working. You're four miles out, Go ahead, take that compression strap, release it, because you can see the top loop, take off all that old construction, put that new construction back on, and you're good to go. Yeah, you're down one compression strap, but your harness system is now back in action. Easy adjust shoulder straps with the ladder lock. On the very front of the straps, we have a thumb loop and a Velcro roll, so you don't have the danglies. Vertical and horizontal venting makes it really nice to, to take all that heat away. Down low, we also have an opening specifically with triglides for our waist belt. And every backpack, if you're gonna be carrying a load, has a backboard, but we handled our backboard just a little bit differently. Ours is a utility backboard. Every backpack that is carrying load has a backboard. And you're gonna be able to access that backboard by pulling it out, taking it very carefully, manipulating it so that it fits your back perfectly. You can do the same thing with ours. Move the shoulder straps to the back side. Open up the Velcro strap. Small Velcro flap there. Open that all the way up. Give the board a little twist. Reach down inside. Pull that whole backboard out. And notice that this is not just a regular backboard. This backboard is a utility backboard. There are four functions to it. First of all, it can be a shovel, it can be a paddle in case you need it, in case you're caught up the creek. It is a brace 
You can go ahead and manipulate that, take off your compression straps off the backpack. The side is lined with all those openings so you can use it in that appropriate manner to stabilize that limb or 550 cord. Or it can also be used as a mini C-spine. And that's important because those first three vertebrae are the most important. They control all your bodily movements. If somebody's in a dangerous position and you need to get them out of there, pull this out, put this right underneath their neck, support that head appropriately, and get them to a place until the EMS professionals get there. And that is the Tactics Half Day Backpack. Remember, there's also a one day version, a little bit wider, a little bit taller, and a three day version, even more tall and more wide with side pockets on it. Again, all the great features you just saw here, plus more, and it's gonna be great for any mission you bring it on. Enjoy it, push it. We'd love to see it out in the field. Please send us pictures. This is an amazing backpack. We wanna hear about all your journeys, great missions, and be safe out there.